Stat Graphics can also read data files created by other applications. This includes Excel and many other statistical packages. To open up such a data file, go to the main menu to File and select Open Open Data Source. To Stat Graphics, Excel files and other files created by other stat packages are external data files. So I'll select External Data File and click OK. A dialog box will now come up on which I need to select the type of file I wish to read. We can open up any type of Excel file. We can open delimited ASCII files. We can also open files, as I said, created by statistical packages such as SAS and SPSS. In this case, I'm going to select Excel, then press the Browse button here to find the file that I wish to open. The file I'm going to open in this case will be an Excel file called Process Data. When we read an Excel file, we can only read a single sheet at a time. So from this pull-down list, I'll need to select the sheet I wish to read. If I wish, I can restrict the reading to a particular range of rows or read the entire file by leaving it set to its default values. Depending upon how, what type of header I have at the top of my Excel file, I will tell the program that the header contains either just column names in the first row, or perhaps names and comments in the first two rows, or perhaps I have no header at all. I can also indicate to the program that I'm using some sort of identifier for missing values. Now in stat graphics, missing values are always represented by blank cells. But if you're using some sort of other identifier, such as a dot, for example, in a cell to represent a missing value, we can automatically blank out such cells as we read the file. When you're all set, press OK, and the data from the external file will be read directly into the stat graphics data sheet. Note that column types are automatically determined from the data. In this case, the first column will be set to a date, the second to a numeric value.